I just started watching a movie called The Infiltrator with Brian Cranston. I had no idea he was such a big star. I'm kind of liking Brian Cranston. And uh, it's called The Infiltrator. And it starts out with this uh, statement about that in the 1980s, um, something like uh, uh, cocaine with a value of $400 million a week was coming into the United States. And it totally escapes our consciousness that the tragedy is not that $400 million of cocaine is coming into the United States. The enormous tragedy is that $400 million is leaving the United States to go to countries where gangs are the government, evil, violent gangs that uh, commit the most atrocious murders, rapes, and enslavements of their population, we send that money to them. They buy their legislators, they buy their police, they buy their judges. And so then, you know, your poor guy on the street doesn't want his kid wrapped up in that, or, you know, his sister's been enslaved and raped by these people. The poor guy wants to come to America to get away from it, and we want to build a wall to keep the poor dumb shit over there in the pile of shit that we created for him. The tragedy is not that $400 million of cocaine was coming in. The tragedy is that $400 was going out to the most horrible people. Now, I asked a drug enforcement agent once, and you can ask too, just go ask any of them, how much are you actually catching? Well, we're catching about 20%. The drug dealers, the drug lords, they would wipe out that 20% among themselves. They would get rid of the incompetent traffickers. That's all we're doing. We're just catching the incompetent guys. Hell, let them do it. They'll kill each other. So then ask, well, you know, if we doubled your budget, how much would you get? Probably not 40%. If we gave you five times as much money, if we if quintupled your budget, you're now getting 20, what would you get? Eh, we might get half, probably not half. We can't win this war trying to intercept it and making it illegal. We have to stop the money leaving here and going there. How do you stop the money? You give the drugs away for free. You ruin the economy. Give away the drugs for free. Now, I realize that that's going to play hell on your little Johnny, but Jesus, think of all the little Juans and Juanitas whose lives are being ruined by the fact that your little Johnny is stealing car radios and maybe stolen your TV sold it, and then the money from that went down to ruin the lives of Juans and Juanitas. I am sorry, but your little Johnny has to be given his drugs for free. We'll have him dip his hand in a bucket of purple ink so that all of us know not to let that son of a bitch drive our buses, fly our airplanes, operate on our appendices, but... Um, you got to let them have it because otherwise this horrible tragedy will continue. Now, well, I'm sorry. I had a biopsy day. I am full of drugs and I got to say it's really, really quite pleasant. I was listening to a whole array of Chopin pieces, mostly piano, some orchestral, some, I don't know, steel drums or something. Anyway, I closed my eyes and I'm, I think it was Percocet that I'm enjoying. And I just went to a different place and I did not want to open my eyes and return to reality. Just, you know, the being in this space of beautiful music and beautiful Percocet. Listen, I get the drug thing. I get the addiction. But 
We've got to give them away for free and stop the drug economy. There's two drug wars, there's two drug problems, and we're fighting the wrong one.